can remember the first time I saw Lindy Hop, and I couldn't be certain whether or not what I was watching was choreographed, because when you see experts, it seems that they're so together, that they're, they're, they're dancing with, with such amazing precision and synchronization, that you think, well, they must, they must both know the steps, right? This has all been worked out in advance. And then, to my amazement, I might find out that those two people have never even met before that dance. So somehow they're able to communicate what's going on through the medium of the connection between them, the physical connection. And I'm going to talk about that in this video. Now, in a lot of uh, dances, we have a complete frame. I wrap my arm around my partner, she wraps her arm around me, and we're holding here. And this solid frame, I can move my partner around. But in Lindy Hop, we're very often just got a tiny little thin rope bridge to our partner. So with the uh, perplexingly talented Laura Hultonen, I'm going to show you, uh, explain to you a little bit how the connection works. So we have, as I say, this weirdly thin rope bridge. I've got to try to get everything about what I want my partner to do through this, this bridge. And can you see already, she's, she's got into the Lindy position. So if I want to do a Lindy turn, possible? Well, um, with a belt, I'm going to uh, demonstrate a principle that's uh, happening here. She holds one end of the belt, and I hold the other. We're now, we're now connected, right? We're, we, we've got this between us. So if I do a thing, hey, she it doesn't, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Well, wait a minute. I, I can pull. Right, so if I want to come this way, I can pull it forward, right? Great. And if I want to turn the corner, hey, I can pull over this way. Terrific. Okay, we're doing balls. Pulling on this, everything's fine. But as soon as I push, you can't push someone with a piece of string. You can't push someone with a, with a slack, bendy belt. And left, right, up, down. It's rubbish. It's hopeless. But what if she were counterbalancing me the whole time? What if she sort of sat down away from me and I sat down away from her? So that now we are both actually off balance. If this were suddenly cut, I would stumble backwards. I probably wouldn't fall flat on my back, but I would certainly have to take quick action to stop myself falling, and she is counterbalancing me. So each of us is holding the other up. So now she's falling that way. So ah, can you see already she can feel the left and right. Because of this tension here, she can feel when I'm here, and if I stop there, she can feel that. And if I rise, she can feel that. And if I lower, I'm not even looking at it, but I know she's come with me because I can feel it through this connection. The tension makes that possible. And now, if I put her onto her right foot and then move forwards, she will fall backwards away from me, keeping this tension constant. And wow, I, if you like, push someone with a piece of string. And I can do it again, and I can catch her, and we can go back and forth. Now, when she comes forwards, she doesn't come too far forwards. Because if she did, if she kept coming, it, oh, it would just uh, it would kill the connection. So instead, when she comes forwards, she comes forward only as much as she feels, and then she stops, which makes this possible. I can now lead back and forth whenever I want, and I can do side to side, and I can go down and up, and we have that connection between us. Now, of course, we don't actually dance with the belt between us. Instead, we just have, we just have this, this rope bridge of arms. Now, what some people uh, do when they, when they see that principle, they think, ah, right, so it's all about keeping tension. And what they do is they tense the whole arm up the whole time. So it's like a crowbar, it's like an iron thing. That doesn't actually help. If one, it's exhausting. And two, it actually makes things uh, less sensitive. So what I do is I match tension with my partner. So if I pull gently, if I counterbalance back gently, she can counterbalance back quite gently too. And it's so gentle that my arm never gets pulled out forwards like this. My shoulder is able to stay back and stay quite relaxed. And so even though it may seem reasonably relaxed, even though it is reasonably relaxed, there's always a tiny bit of tension there. And that means that all sorts of things become possible. I can lead all sorts of moves. Spin, sure. <laughs> and she's with me the whole time. We are a couple dancing together. So that's one of the principles that makes connection possible in Lindy Hop. And while I'm here, I'll just say that compression does the same job. So if, perhaps we'll do this with two, two hands, it's slightly easier. If we both fall into each other, so now 
we're holding each other up. Um, I, you know, if she were to suddenly um, teleport away, I would fall forwards. Each of us will not headbutt the other in the face because we are keeping the other up. This does the same thing. So now if I move left and right, or if I go up and down, she's with me. So compression and tension both achieve the same thing. Thank you very much. I made this tie out of corduroy.